Transforming layer content is really easy in Affinity Photo and is all done through one tool. Here is how to use it. By default, when opening an image or document, the View tool is selected. I can switch across to the Move tool, either on the Tools panel here, or by using V on the keyboard. Now I need to select my layer content. I'll select the Destroyed Planet layer on the Layers panel here, and we can now see the bounding box around the layer contents, which will allow us to transform the layer. To move a layer, simply click-drag anywhere within the bounds of the box. To scale a layer, click-drag on the handles, located either in the corners, or the top, bottom, left, or right of the bounding box. Dragging a corner handle with image content will always perform proportional scaling. To override this, hold the Shift key whilst dragging with the mouse. Letting go of Shift returns to proportional scaling. I can also hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows to scale around the center of the layer. Dragging the top, bottom, left or right handles will perform non-proportional scaling by default. Again, you can hold Shift to perform proportional scaling instead. Rotating a layer can be achieved either by click-dragging on the top rotation handle or by hovering over the outside area of a corner handle and click-dragging. Whilst rotating, you can hold Shift to constrain the rotation to 15 degree increments. Shearing can be performed by hovering just outside the top, bottom, left or right handles and click dragging. As with rotation, you can hold Command on Mac, Control on Windows to shear around the center point. Once I am finished transforming the layer, I can simply switch away to another tool, such as H for the View tool. Since layers are always transformed non destructively in the Affinity apps, there is no need to commit the transformation. So I can go back into the Move tool using V. I can rotate and scale and move as many times as I like without compromising the original resolution and quality of the layer. If you prefer to use precise values, you can also transform layers using the Transform panel located in the bottom right of the interface. Do be aware that to use this, you need the Move tool selected. For example, if I have the View tool active, the options are greyed out. So I'll just switch back to the Move tool. Then the transform values become available to me. I can reset the rotation and shearing by typing zero and pressing enter or return on the keyboard. This control here lets me change the origin point for transformation. It defaults to the top left position, so if I click drag on the rotation control, it rotates around that point. I could change this to the middle point, and now when I move through rotation again, it rotates around the middle of the layer instead. When you have the Move tool selected, there are a couple of options available on the Context toolbar that are worth noting for certain workflows. So on the Layers panel here, I will make a selection of multiple layers by clicking to select one, then holding Shift and clicking to select all the other asteroid layers. Switching to the Move tool using V, you will see that the bounding box is set up to transform all the layers together. If I rotate, for example, it will rotate all layers around the center origin of the bounding box. The same happens if I scale the layers. Instead, on the context toolbar up here, I can enable transform objects separately. Notice the large bounding box goes away. Instead, only one of the layers has a bounding box around it, but the other layers do have an outline. Now, if I rotate this layer, each layer will be rotated around its own relative origin point. The same also applies for scaling. I can change the nominated layer for transforming 
by holding Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, and clicking on the layer I wish to nominate. This can be done either on the Document view or on the Layers panel. Another useful option is Hide Selection while dragging. This hides the bounding box while you are actually transforming the layer or layers, giving you a clearer view of what you are doing. And that covers basic layer transformation in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.